Hey, welcome back to In the Studio with Ophelia. I am Ophelia and thank you so much for joining me today. I literally just wanted to jump right into my journaling routine and with a new to me fountain pen, the Golden Ritz Sketch Writer fountain pen. These are available at Jerry's Artorama. I'll make sure to leave everything linked below. There are two styles, both available in a fine, medium, broad, and an extra fine. There are two styles. There are two styles, the Victoria as well as the Rockwell. I'll be showing you the Rockwell and how I set that up. Both of these pens come in a brushed silver or a charcoal luster. The Victoria pen is very travel friendly. It's balanced, lightweight. It's got a nice screw on cap. The inks come in seven colors, 12 pack cartridges, and they're an ink dye based ink, which is a vivid water soluble ink in Simply Black, Black Lagoon, Deep Smoke, Midnight Sapphire, Dark Mocha, Burnt Carmine, and Toasted Walnut. I found all of these photos and so much more information on the Jerry's website. So let's go ahead and set mine up. I am just going to show you guys the Rockwell that I got. Um, this one is a brushed silver and it is in an extra fine nib. Um, each package comes with the pen, the converter, as well as cartridges. The converter is great is if you have, for instance, bottles of ink that you wish to refill your pen with, um, even though it comes with, you know, these three cartridges in ink. I was only able to find the additional cartridges in different colors. You may be able to check your local Jerry's Artorama to see if they have bottles left over. I was able to find the cartridges. Um, and so what I'm going to do, I don't want to use the black. I'm kind of intrigued by this color. I just love the beautiful brushed silver. It's a nice, it is a hefty pin. It feels very well made, um, but it's not heavy. And so this guy has not um, almost like a, a snap mechanism. And you can definitely see inside there, there's a nice seal so that your ink won't dry up. When I unscrew the grip section, there is another cartridge. And what's great about the cartridge is, and I'm gonna use the color Toasted Walnut. What is great about the cartridges is that there really is no fuss to getting your pen going. You just take the cartridge, this box comes with 12 inserted into the grip section and you kind of hear a, a snap and you're ready to go. You can then just put the, screw the body back on. This guy does post nicely. So now that we've got it ready to go, let's get started. I just wanted to pause here for a bit and do a quick writing sample with the Rockwell pen that I have. Both of these models, the Victoria as well as the Rockwell, offer a triple section titanium nib, which me makes them great for both writing and sketching. This nib is just so beautiful and smooth, and this pen is honestly such a great writer. It retails for $79.99, 
or I should say it is on the website currently for $79.99. And the ink cartridges, each of the colors are on a super sale for $1.99. I just love that I've added this pen to my collection. I do love, however, the Victoria in the body is just such a beautiful pen. I have the one that is the charcoal luster and I love that the cap screws onto the back. It's just a phenomenal pen. Both of them are an incredible deal for a beautiful writing instrument. So no morning journaling routine would be complete without my new fountain pen and a brand new journal. I am using a Fabriano journal here. And the first thing that I did, or I should say it's an A5, A5 size, 90 gram or 24 pound paper, and there's 80 sheets. I've already done a pen test and I've tested watercolor, my fountain pens, a variety of other pens, and I love that there was little to no ghosting on the pages behind. So I'm just going to set this up, of course, to get break in my brand new journal. And I'm just starting off with finding some collage, putting in my sticker with my name. Um, this journal, I know I won't take outside of my house maybe. So for ones that I would rarely take out or take away from home, I don't usually put in any kind of information like where to find me or anything. Usually it's just my name. Um, but you certainly can put in all your other information. So I'm just using a glue stick and gluing other bits of things down just to make this brand new journal move in ready finding some fun collage sheets um just different things like that to where you know, you know I have to add stickers I have to add all the stuff and that's kind of what I'm doing or just going through my pile of things getting the journal ready for all the things I am not even sure yet of what I want to use this journal for. Um, so I'm just putting some stickers on it and making sure that it is going to be suitable for whatever it is that I throw at it. Um, I love that the paper is nice enough to hold a wet fountain pen ink or um, a water soluble marker and even watercolor because I do love adding splashes of watercolor to my daily thoughts. And so I always end up moving into a new sketchbook just by adding personal touches or decorating it with stickers and different collage bits and such like that. So this is me getting my new journal moving ready. because I am such a sticker junkie and I love finding stickers everywhere. Unfortunately, my pile of stickers that you see there in the bottom left of the screen, I've had these stickers and have collected stickers for years and years and years. And just wherever we go, I'm always looking for stickers just because I have a problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I've got it all set, ready to move in, just finding other things. I'm not really too sure, um, and I kind of audition things, and like, no, it doesn't have to be perfect to hold your thoughts, but this is honestly my favorite part, where I just get to know my brand new journal, and there's that bucket of collage papers, and why not? Let's just use those to decorate our brand new journal. And I do know that I will be using this journal in some form to just brain dump in the mornings. Maybe a gratitude journal or 
I don't know, but what is great is that it will hold fountain pen ink or pencil or water soluble markers and even watercolor. I am truly, truly happy with both of these pens. I have the extra fine as well as a broad and I do just love having them in my collection as my daily carries to journal with. I will try to um, sketch with them and just see the variety of marks that you can make, of course, by um, turning the nib upside down, or you can use the nib both ways to get a variety of lines. I'm just excited. And I thank you guys for joining me today. And I'll see you next time. Bye.